Welcome everybody, you got a interesting question. Can you integrate this integral e raised to the power of x squared over y positive z positive y squared over x positive z positive z squared over x positive y times dx. We expect it to integrate this with this boundary condition x over y positive z positive y over x positive z positive z over x positive y is equal to 1. So this condition is given. Now, the question is how are we going to integrate this? Now, you might be tempted to start off right away, but don't do that. We will have to perform a simplification of this expression using this condition, and then onwards we will integrate. So, foremost, this is given, right? So, I'm going to start off the solution in this fashion. So, given, given that x over y positive z positive y over x positive z positive z over x positive y is equal to 1. Now I'm going to be multiplying both sides by x positive y positive z and that would give me x positive y positive z times x over y positive z positive y over x positive z positive z over x positive y is equal to x positive y positive z multiply both sides by this now distribute x positive y positive z so this is going to be x into I start off with x so this is going to give me x squared over y positive z positive xy over x positive z positive x z over x positive y I start off with y now positive x y over y positive z positive y squared over x positive z positive y z over x positive y I start off with z now x z over y positive z positive y z over x positive z positive z squared over x positive y is equal to x positive y positive z. Now collect all the x squared, y squared and z squared term and write them down. x squared over y positive z positive y squared over x positive z positive z squared over x positive y. So this is what is given in the expression. Now uh, that is followed by collect all the common denominators. So you have xz over x positive y positive this one yz over x positive y this is one term and then yz yz xy over y positive z positive xz over y positive z positive and then x xz you got xz here yeah? and then you have uh, x positive x positive z here so this is x y over x positive z positive y z over x positive z is equal to x positive y positive z okay so let me check if i've got all the terms three two four six nine terms three 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 okay all right so now rewrite this x squared over y positive z positive y squared over x positive z positive z squared over x positive y positive denominator is common take x positive y so this is going to give me x z positive y z denominator is common so this is going to give me x y positive x z denominator is common this is going to give me x positive z x y positive y z is equal to x positive y positive z so this is going to be x squared over y positive z positive y squared over x positive z positive z squared over x positive y positive now can I take z out? 
I take z out, I get x positive y divided by x positive y. Can I take x out? I get y positive z divided by y positive z. Can I take y out? x positive z divided by x positive z is equal to x positive y positive z. x positive z, x positive z, y positive z, y positive z, x positive y, x positive y gets cancelled, giving me x squared over y positive z positive y squared over x positive z positive z squared over x positive y positive. I'm going to write this as x positive y positive z is equal to x positive y positive z. Now move this to the other side so you get x positive y positive z negative of x positive y positive z. This term and this term gets cancelled equal to 0. So on the left hand side I get x squared over y positive z positive y squared over x positive z positive z squared over x positive y. So this entire term is equal to 0. So take this value. This is the value that we have got. So take this value and perform the integration. So we are asked to integrate e raised to the power of, therefore e raised to the power of x squared over y positive z positive y squared over x positive z positive z squared over x positive y this is e raised to the power of times dx is equal to integral e raised to the power of this entire expression has resulted in 0 times the dx. So e raised to the power of 0 is 1. So you have integral dx. Integral of dx is going to be x. This is indefinite integral. So you place a constant c. So that is the solution. I hope you enjoyed this question. And until we meet again, enjoy your day.